Happy Thursday, second grade. Let's get started today with our writing. Today we're going to be learning all the things about the sharks and gathering information. So let's go ahead and take a look at writing day three for lesson four. We are on step three, read and gather evidence. So please make sure you are looking and we are already at step three. Um, we're going to read our text together information to use in your writing and we're going to think through it so you can get ready to write. We're going to read it as a writer and a reader to see how we're entertained and to see what we can learn to become a better writer. So please make sure you have your I ready book and your pencil so we can mark up our text and gather information we can include in our writing assignment. So our objectives for the today are I can read and understand two source texts. We're going to focus on one today. And I can look at facts and details to use in writing. So let's go ahead and open our iReady books to page number 104. And you can see right here, here is the beginning of our first text, Amazing Sharks. So we're going to read our source text and you're gonna use that information when you write your diary enter, entry. Both the ones we're, both the source text we're gonna read are going to give us information about sharks. So this is an informational book and we're gonna read it as a reader and we're gonna read this entire uh, text, which is three pages today. So I need you guys to make sure you're listening and following along so you can gather your details in your facts to include because remember we have to find three of them all right so we're going to by the end of this i want you to be able to name two facts you learned about sharks on this page okay so follow along as i read from amazing sharks by sarah l thompson there are more than 350 different kinds of sharks some are as long as, as a fire truck some are so small you could hold one in your hand. Some sharks have dull teeth. Others have teeth so sharp they can take a bite out of a turtle shell. Whoa. Some sharks live in rivers. Others hide in the ocean bottom or swim in deep water. Some sharks even glow in the dark. Whoa. That's pretty cool. And right here, the great white shark is named for its white belly, right? It's white belly right here. Hmm. So we just learned a lot. I want you to think. Two facts, name them. Get a piece of paper and actually don't get a piece of paper. Go ahead and underline them in your text. Mark up your text. Two deep facts that you learned that were pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and start annotating mine. I think two facts that were pretty cool to me is that hmm, there are more than 350 different kinds of sharks. Oops. I'm not doing very good at underlining right now, very well. Um, hmm. I think it's really cool to me that, and I think I could include this in my writing, that others have teeth so sharp they can take a bite out of a turtle shell. So those are two facts that I think are awesome. You can definitely pick different facts. Maybe you think it's cool to be a tiny little shark that can fit in a hand. So what interests you and what facts are interesting? I mean, and some of them, even glow in the dark, like cool. So find your two facts here. All right, why is it important that we know where the sharks live? Why is it helpful for your diary, for your narrative diary? Right, because in the beginning of our writing, our narrative, we have to tell a setting. So it's important that that is our setting and we understand that they live in some sort of water. And we learned here that they could live in rivers, right? And some also hide in the bottom of the deep ocean. And hmm, so I want you guys to think about, you could pick different settings based on where you feel like your shark would live, okay? You as a shark, I should say. So let's go ahead and turn the page to learn more on page 105. All right, you can see right here, we're on paragraph two. Paragraph two. All right, follow along. See what we are going to learn. We're gonna learn more about the sharks and how they're different. 
All right, almost all sharks are hunters. Animals that hunt are called predators. Ooh, the white shark is a predator. It attacks from below to kill its favorite food, seals or sea lions. These animals are called its prey. Sharks are fish, but they are also, but they are different from other fish. Other fish have bones. A shark skeleton is cartilage. Your ears and your nose are made of cartilage. I feel your ears and your nose. That's what a shark is made out of. That's their cartilage. It bends more easily than a bone. A shark can bend and twist to turn quickly when it's swimming. Ooh. All right. How are sharks different from other fish? Right. A shark is different. It says right here, a shark skeleton is cartilage. So that's important for us to know as a fact. Like you could definitely include that in your writing, that it has cartilage and how it can bend and twist very easily. And this helps them a lot because maybe when they're hunting their prey, they can talk about how they twist and bend, right? So what kind of things do sharks eat? I see lots of different things listed here. All right, I see seals, I see sea lions. Hmm. All right, I think we're gonna find out more about what they can eat and about their teeth here. So it's paragraph three, some sharks, oop, sharks eat stingrays or spiny sea urchins. Many eat other sharks. Whoa, tiger sharks have eaten tin cans and metal wire. Ooh, sharks have rows and rows of teeth. If one tooth falls out, a bigger one moves up to fill the hole. Some sharks lose thousands of teeth during their lives. Whoa. So we learn more. They also will eat stingrays or sea urchins, right? And they can even eat tin cans or metal wires. I don't think that would be very good for them, but you know, maybe they like them. And then we also learn about their teeth, right? That their teeth, that they have a lot more teeth and if they lose thousands of teeth, it doesn't matter because they will replace them with teeth that are already there and just move bigger to the front. So you can see right here, a tiger shark's teeth are shaped to cut and saw. Oh, so we learn more about what their teeth are gonna be like, all right? So we have found a lot of information that could be important for our diary entry from this so far. We are finding also words that are strong words, right? So how they tell you about a shark. So I'm feeling like some of these big words like bend, twist, turn, quickly. These are big words and actions that we could include because in the middle, right, we have to talk about the shark's actions. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna annotate in here and I'm going to underline right here. Um, it bends more easily, okay? It twists to turn, right? And quickly, those are big words that will help us make our reader understand better. Um, we are also thinking about, hmm, the readers can help picture these things a lot more, right? In this picture down here, I'm talking about the teeth, I can picture it like those teeth moving up. So think about some of those big words. Oh, I forgot to underline bend. So those are some words we can talk about our shark actions throughout our day in the life of a, sea, of a shark. Whew. All right, so we learned more here. You've underlined some strong words. We've underlined some facts and, and details, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and turn to page 106 to finish reading our amazing sharks passage, all right? So follow along as I read. So if I look right here, oh, vision meter, a shark can hear 10 times farther than it can see. Ooh, cool. Hearing is 1,000 meters. So this is how far it can see, 100 meters, and this is how far it can hear. That's pretty cool. All right, paragraph four, let's read it. Sharks have many senses to help them find food. A shark can hear a fish in the water from more than a mile away. It can smell one drop of blood in a million drops of water. Ooh, scary. If a fish is swimming or splashing, a shark can feel the water moving. Sharks can also feel electricity. Even living things, every living thing gives off a little bit of electricity. 
People cannot feel it, but sharks can. Even if prey is hiding, a shark can still find it by feeling electricity in the water. That's cool. Many people are afraid of sharks, but most sharks leave people alone. You are more likely, like, more likely to be hit by lightning than to be killed by a shark. Sharks are important to life in the ocean. Hmm, that's pretty cool. And you look over here, it says the lemon shark feels electricity from food hiding in the sand. That's pretty cool. I learned a lot of new things about sharks here from this. So how does a shark use its senses? Right, so our hearing and our vision and our smell. Okay, so we hear that they can hear really far away and they can smell blood. So they're using their senses a lot. And they also can feel, right, that touch. They can touch and feel that electricity to find those other um, animals moving in the water, or fish in the water. And then my last thing that I didn't really know and I learned today more of was are shark attacks very common? Mm -mm. How do we know? Right down in the text in the bottom, our text evidence says you are more likely to be hit by lightning than to be killed by a shark. That's pretty cool to know that and understand that. Um, so now we look closely at this. I would like for you guys to go back and try and read more again and find those facts and details that you think are interesting about a shark's life that you would include in a diary and explain to other people. So go ahead and make sure that you are looking in here and talking about the senses. Find one thing that um, about a sense and underline it that you would want to include. Maybe it's about hearing, maybe it's about what they see, maybe it's about what they smell. Go ahead and find your one thing. You can pause it here if you need a second to find it. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to finish out our writing for today. That is all we needed to do. So let's go ahead and make sure you have learned a few things and you have a few things in your brain so that we can add more information as we read our second text tomorrow. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday.